Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good uh, night. <laughs> Here is uh, Ranjina from the Netherlands and I'm helping entrepreneurs, freelancers, visionaires and all other people who are at the crossroads to regain their freedom, inner peace and financial stability. And today I would like to talk about uh, with you about money. Money, the big, big subject. A lot of people are talking about, sharing about, uh, there's a lot of information on the internet about money, how to earn money, how to make money, how to make money from home, etc., etc. All the YouTube videos we see from millionaires, billionaires, how to make money, and a lot of people are talking about money, a lot of people are struggling with money, a lot of people avoid money. And a lot of people want to earn money to create a better world. So there is a lot to talk about money. But let's get to the basic. Because what is money? I think it's a very good idea to have uh, to talk about the basic of money first. Because when we agree on that subject, uh, we better can talk about what we would like to uh, with money okay so what is money have you ever thought about what is money really because money in itself intrin uh, intrinsically is that the word yeah intrinsically is nothing money in itself has no value at all it's just paper with the print on it or it's just, you know, metal, metal, metal things, you know, metal, um, it's just metal, it's just paper. We gave it value. And I know, and I probably, I know I, you probably heard this before, but this is really important to acknowledge. Money in itself is nothing but paper and metal. And when you don't pay with paper and metal, then you have your credit card or, you know, this card where you pay. So it's really nothing at all. No paper, no metal. It's nothing. Okay. It's yeah, maybe you could say it's energy. So when money in itself is nothing why are so many people busy with money that's interesting isn't it and is it really about that we want to make money or is it a fulfilled life with blank 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 you know you fill in the blanks because when we only talk about money I think we focus on the wrong things because money in itself is nothing. Of course, we have we need we we still need money to pay our bills and the rent and the groceries and all that stuff. But um, I think it's really important when we want to create a better world for all of us, not only for the people but also for the animals and all for the nature and the birds and the trees and the plants and you know all that is living um, i think it's really important that we uh, that we agree on that that money in itself is nothing we the humans we as humankind gave value to it but or you also can say and <laughs> we as humans we give value to almost anything and how do we how do how did we get that that we have about a lot of things we have opinions we have beliefs we give value other people we uh, devalue we don't give value other people other things we do value so where did we get that from well most people uh, <laughs> i and i i'm also one of most people <laughs> and you too probably 
<laughs> we got it from our parents, grandfathers, uh, media, school, education, culture, religion, uh, spirituality, uh, beliefs, um, newspapers, magazines, and all that stuff. So it is borrowed. Yeah. So all the ideas, all the opinions, all the... We think many times, oh, I got this wonderful idea. This is this is really new. This is exciting. This is the first time ever. And you know what? It's not. Because it's coming from the field of an information where we all are in. Where you could say, yeah, we are in the field of information that everybody is in. So actually, there is really no new idea, new opinion, new belief, new conviction. Everything is only borrowed. We got it from other people or magazines or school or education or whatever. So when all that is true, and we just talk, talked about money, what, where are we looking at? What is this world when we only borrowed ideas, opinions about the world? So let that sink in for a while, if you want, if you dare. Because it takes courage to really have a zero perspective on money, on the world, on life itself. And what if you could really erase all these opinions you borrowed you, from other people about things and to really start to make to um, make contact with your inner wisdom that tells you what something is and what it is not. Because if we agree on that humankind is actually only repeating all the stuff that went on in their lives since the beginning of their creation, well, that could be this life, of course, with this birth, but maybe there, maybe there is reincarnation, but maybe there is not reincarnation. I mean, because when we talk about reincarnation and uh, uh, and I can say that for my own self because I, I I am interested in spirituality since a very long time. And I also borrowed the idea that reincarnation exists. But what if reincarnation does not exist, but in our DNA, our experiences, thoughts, emotions, circumstances from our parents, our grandfather parents and their parents and their parents and their parents and their parents and so on and so on. And that we call that reincarnation. But these are just, you know, <clears throat> stored memories. It's storage, you know, what we have in our DNA that uh, also can affect us in our daily life. So what I'm actually doing here, and maybe that's a kind of confusing for you, but uh, for for my for for me, and maybe that's also for you. From confusion comes clarity. It's strange to say, but actually we need confusion to create clarity. Most of the time we don't create, we don't get clarity when everything is going smooth and well and everything is okay. You know, we get clarity out of confusion. So that's what I wanted to share with you today in this video. To really look at yourself about all the, uh, about opinions, beliefs, convictions, um, things you have a strong belief, strong conviction, uh, positive, negative, doesn't matter. But what are you really believing? And 
also an important question is, who are you really believing? For example, the reincarnation, what I just talked uh, about. Um, from who did you get that information from? And it's really, and it's this is this is not about oh I want to keep that or I want to have that or I want to have this or whatever. It's really like it's really like um, it's really like going back to a zero perspective on yourself at yourself in the world and. Um, yeah, I'm really wondering what this what this video uh, is doing for you. And because I think when we want to create another world full of love and harmony and peace and inner freedom, it is a very good idea. I think that we come from a zero perspective, so that it can fill own experiences from a zero perspective okay well i i really would like to know what you think of all of this so please comment under the video please please like the video please subscribe to my channel and i really would like to inspire you in the next video until then i say you can change your life you can be free. See you in the next video. Bye bye.